Hello, my friends. Boomy here once again with another drive video for you amazing people. Hello, my friends. I hope everyone is doing well and surviving the cold. Uh, well, unless you're like in Florida, then you're enjoying the warm and the south. But yeah. Anyway, so it's so cold here. Snow everywhere. I uh, had some snow last night. Didn't really do much. Just turned everything into ice, which was fun. Thanks, nature. Uh, but hey, man, spring is just around the corner. Oh. Now, I being one who loves winter, who loves fall, who loves the colder temperatures, I will say, man, because my old job, I had to deliver things in, the, in this stuff, and that's when my hatred for winter began, but I'm slowly overcoming that, uh, that disability right there, and I'm getting better, getting better. I'm learning to love winter again learning to enjoy snow at this point i'm just like okay if it keeps snowing i just like to know where the heck i'm going to put it all because i'm literally building a raw wall around my house which parks me like i'm okay with that um <coughs> it costs me nothing it's a lot cheaper than actually building a complete wall around my house that's uh, okay my neighbors already call my house the alamo so it just needs the wall to complete the whole you know compound anyways guys how's everyone doing what are you guys playing uh, yeah, so uh, congratulations to all the winners, everyone who has won or who has contacted me. Uh, your guys, this, this, this stuff is sitting in my respective tunes on the res on the respective servers with the stuff in their bags, and we're just waiting for the collective cooldown to stop so you guys can get your prizes. That's what we are waiting on right now. Uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft, like a lot of World of Warcraft lately, just really banging through there, going through the um, the lore, the storyline, which I'm really liking, really loving it. I think Blizzard really knocked this expansion out of the park. Um, something I wish SOTOR would do, that'd be nice. Oh my gosh, it's all walkity, rah! Uh, I have a uh, thingy here that'll let me... Uh, put my uh, phone on it but uh it's it falls off sometimes so that would just be that would just be awkward as poop so that's what's happening uh yeah so what what else has been going on so i watched the uh, okay now if you're a first timer on the drive videos you will find that we talk about some sensitive things and you'll find that i'm very much not a uh emotional responsive uh person uh, and old, very old school, which I think the majority of the people in this country in America are, uh, kind of like grow up buttercup type of situations. <laughs> so I watched the, uh, Gina Guerrero, 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 for her, uh, uh, interview with Ben Shapiro, uh, the other night. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I, I really liked it. It was great. And she came off very sincere and, uh, gentle, never raised her voice. Uh, very, you know, yeah. So I really liked it, and it's not a shocker. Man, I'm from Southern California. I actually worked in the industry for a little bit. So uh, it wasn't as bad as it is now, uh, but uh, definitely if you have different points of view than uh, they do, you are targeted, and you don't get as many jobs as uh, people who either keep their mouth shut or people who uh, align with their type of thought. Uh, so, a lot of things she's saying, I'm like, yep, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I, either way, this is my, this, here's, here's Boomy's perspective on this whole cancel culture crap. Stop it. It's a freaking cancer. It's dumb. And it's really kind of just a, a frustratingly, f not even funny, almost amusing at the, uh, utter hypocrisy and ignorance of all these people going, we gotta cancel this because feelings rare. Uh, it's not about that. It's uh, wham. Do your own dang research. Like a lot of things she said had nothing to do with what they were saying she was going, she was talking about. And uh, what I, what I, I, this is the biggest thing that I will point out is uh, uh, a friend of mine who I know called her anti-Semitic. And I'm just sitting there going, uh, that's funny since your brand new boss is an Orthodox Jew. So I think she's doing it wrong if she is. Uh, but it's just a lot of that. This whole culture that we find ourselves in where the minority of thought, uh, the thought police, the PC police, whatever, 
uh, seem to be in control of things, and the rest of us normal humans are just sitting there going, like, what the F is happening? Why is this a thing? Excuse me? Listen, if you have your own thoughts and opinions, party on! I will always defend them, and I will champion your right to say them. But I will never, never, ever block you or cancel or cancel you because I don't agree with you. Even if I find what you have to say completely repugnant, I'm not going to. Not why, because I'm an adult and I keep scrolling by. I might shake my head going, <sighs> but I just keep on walking. As a dear, dear old friend of mine back in yonder day once said to me, Boomy, we gotta pick our fights. 95% of the battles we wage aren't even worth fighting. Pick our fights, know what you're fighting about, know what the heck you're talking about. And here's my biggest thing, even if you disagree, know what it is you're actually disagreeing with, know what it is you're actually trying to say, and be um, very uh, firm in your foundation, but always be willing, man, this thing's shaking all over the place, always be willing to have your mind changed. So that's pretty much how I go through life, you know? We're always learning, we're always adapting, we're always doing things, and if we ever become a society where everyone thinks the same thing and everyone is a freaking robot, I do not want to be a part of it. I want to be in a place where we have freedom of thought, freedom of speech, freedom of all the things, to be able to say what we want to say without fear of being canceled, in a place where we have, like I said, diversity of thought. And that's what we used to have, but woofty. I don't know what the heck happened, but either since 2000, I mean, it's always been there, but I feel like the election of 16, the election of 16, really uh, just tore the mask off of everything, and everyone's just like, screw it, let's just see what happens. So, yeah, I love you guys. No matter what your thoughts and opinions are, whoever you voted for, I don't care. Uh... I love you guys. We all have a common ground. And I, I have said this many times on this platform before, but we all need to just find a common ground and have a civil discussion. We have our primary disagreements. We have our secondary disagreements. But as long as we have a foundation to come to, to build our relationships on, then we're good to go. Anyways, that's Boomy's thoughts. That's Boomy's little idle chatter with you guys right now. Let me know your comments in the comment section below. I love you guys. You guys are great. You guys are amazing. We'll see you later. Good day. Bye-bye.